Guys, let's take a look at another one of these ace locks. You might recall I opened one of these quite some time back, and it was one I bought off of uh, bought off of eBay. So it put up a big fight, uh, a lot of trouble to open it, and there was some question about whether the guts on that other lock were original, and and I didn't know. So I had a chance to buy a new one at Ace Hardware that I was that I passed by. This is their maximum security premium line. So again, this is the best that Ace has to offer. We look at the back, we see it's got a hardened shackle, hardened steel body, that's all good stuff externally, so that, that looks promising. Internally we got the double locking balls, so we're not going to be able to shim it or bypass that lock. We got a replaceable cylinder just like the American padlocks, so if we don't like the bidding, but we will as you'll see in a moment, uh, we could replace it and rekey it. Uh, the only thing I'm questioning is that they say there's only five uh, security pins and if it's a six pin cylinder that could be a chance for us to improve something to make it just a little bit better. When I bought this one it was the last one on the shelf. I couldn't see the key but I couldn't be happier. I mean this is just perfect. This is the way I like to see them. This really would be non non rakeable. Um, it works perfectly. See there? It's a beautiful lock, very well machined, very smooth, even nicer than that original one that we had. Just very well executed. So let's open with a key. Let's see if we can open this thing up with a pick one time. See how much of a fight she puts up to us. Okay, top of the keyway tension, pick all the way to the rear. I'm just going to apply light tension because previously we had a lot of serrated pins and that requires super light tension. I'm going to move my pick forward to put it on the tip of pin number five and I'm just going to start testing the pins. And I am getting some very slight feedback so maybe we can get it to start crunching which would be indicative of those serrated pins. And instead it looks like it felt serrated but then it's set. I got a set so it might be a serrated spool. Okay, I'm moving four, three, I got a little feedback on on him. We get centered and we'll see what we can send him home. Okay, there we go. Not a lot of resistance there. Okay, moving up the stack. I'm on pin two. Got a little bit deeper set. Okay, let me start looking. Maybe somebody in the back fell out or maybe somebody else is ready. Okay, five. Looks like he popped out. We'll put him back. Okay, I'm testing now because we're probably getting close to having her picked and I, I don't want to pick her and then keep pushing stuff. So put a little tension once in a while just to double check. Okay, nothing. Okay, looks like pin... Pin one, maybe? Let's see if we can send that home. Very slight feedback. Hmm. Doesn't want to give it up. Come on, baby. Getting around that warding is a little bit rough here. Let me try a uh, slightly different pick. Give me a little more dexterity in that small space. She's a fighter, guys. You sooner get one than two more of them pop out. Really tight tolerances in this one. There's no room for, for error. If you let it off just a little too much on your tension, she's going to drop everything on you. There we go. Got an open. All right. We're only at uh, four and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of her. I'm betting there's at least one serrated spool, but I'm not willing to commit to any more than that. Okay, it looks like our, we have a security disc wafer in there, 
and that's a good thing. Um, a little bit different than on the American. If you notice, there's a little slot cut out for that little hole. And you know, I've seen these before. I don't know what those holes are for. They're not threaded. It's a dead hole. In other words, there's there's nothing in the bottom of it. Uh, there's nothing that it interlocks with on the inside um, of the cam either. So. Uh, they think it important enough to cut this little slot and by the way these are a little bit thicker than the Americans so we won't need to double these up so I really don't know what that is I'm not going to worry about it now I'm not going to waste your time instead I'm going to break the tip off my screwdriver as I always do when I remove these rings for the first time hmm. that wasn't so bad all right, we got the we got it turned. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, so we need to turn it. I think we're right, guys. I think we got lucky here. Let's go ahead and just shove it out and see what happens. Okay, we'll just put that right there. Keep that in the camera. Move all this trash out. Put this up here and start dumping out pins. We got two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, it's even more than I thought. Um, let me see if I can't zoom in just a hair here. Oops, let you guys see what's up. All right, so uh, on the first one, there are key pins. We had a serrated, 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 and serrated. And in position one, we had a serrated spool. Pin two, serrated, serrated spool, serrated spool, serrated spool. Oh man, awesome. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen up close these serrated spools, but if I can get the camera to focus, let me zoom out. Oops, sorry. New camera. Hard to get it to cooperate. That's what they look like. Evil little bastards, I'll say that. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Anyway, thank you for your time. Uh, everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.